If you're like me, you want to do things efficiently and productively. Don't waste time. And when it comes to training hitters, that's how I look at it. Don't waste their time. Look, I'm a player who's from the 70s and 80s, and I started coaching in the 90s. My hitting influences were Ted Williams, Charlie Lau, and a slew of other books that were written back in the 70s and 80s. In the 90s, it was Joe Barth Jr., Gary Ward, Rob Ellis, and of course, my main man, Frank Porco. These names might not mean much to you, but I have been deluged with hitting drills and hitting fads for a long time. Believe me when I tell you, I've tried these drills and fads as a player. I've tried these drills and fads as a coach. But here's where we go back to the idea. We are wasting time. Over and over again, I know as a player, and players tell me all the time, hey, this drill that we're doing is not crossing back over to what's going to happen in a live game. And guess what? I got some good news for you. I have a recipe of concepts that I fit into a drill that's functional, practical, and then transferable back to the game setting. But here's more good news. I have added a new video to the 6.0 online hitting course. It's specifically video number 6.11. I have made modifications to the drill that was featured in video 4.3 and video 5.11. The new video in 6.11 is going to help the slow tempo hitter. Let me tell you why video number 6.11 is so so good. This video is helping hitters to be deprogrammed from our current hitting culture. Dave, what do you mean by deprogrammed from the hitting culture? Dude, if you're watching carefully what's going on inside our hitting culture, you would think a pitching coach is writing the script for hitting development. It's amazing to watch from the highest level, Major League Baseball, Minor League Baseball, Collegiate Baseball, High School Baseball, Travel Baseball, they are all buying into this. Buying into what? Measure it, and then you can develop it. How far are you hitting the ball? How hard are you hitting the ball? What is the ball exit speed? What is the bat slope into the zone? What is the bat slope out of the zone? And then the irony and the twist to all this measuring happens on a soft toss ball. Like someone's flipping you a ball in a batting cage six feet away, 15 feet away. It's ridiculous. Does anybody tell the pitcher, hey, let's work on your command today. Let's see how accurate you are with your pitches. Oh, Let's move in halfway closer to the catcher and pitch from 30 feet away. Of course not. So these so-called collected data hitting points that we get from these measurable devices aren't even from valid hitting tests. The reason I ask is a pitching coach designing this hitting philosophy is because everything we're doing in our culture is taking us away from the attention of the ball. Believe me, I already know about all those drills with the numbered balls and colored balls and all that kind of stuff and pitch recognition. I get all that. But you're commonly doing all those drills from an unrealistic hitting setting. But let me pivot and let me go back to the good news. The new video, 6.11, that's added to the 6.0 hitting course, is going to correct the hitting air messages that your son or daughter experiences in a real game. Point in case, hitters who want to muscle up. Hitters who are always trained to swing as hard as you can. I'm using this drill to deprogram of constantly over swinging. Man, I'm telling you, that is what the pitching coach wants you to do. I'm dedicating myself. I'm going back hardcore with this drill because this drill is going to help them to get the true hitting results they are trying to get. It's going to help them hit the ball harder. It's going to help them to get natural launch angle. It's going to help them to have natural slope in and slope out during their swing pass. Ultimately, this will help hitters have higher levels of hitting perception. And that's exactly what the pitching coach doesn't want the hitter to have. I'm telling you, I've gone back to this and I modified it for slow tempo hitters. And this drill is working on even my high maintenance students. If you already have the online hit course, go check out video 6.11. And if you don't have it, I don't know what you're waiting for. But your son and your daughter, they need this now. I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com, and with the Kirloff Baseball School in Anna, Texas. Click the link in the description box to have your player start this drill today. I'm telling you, it's going to change his destination.